Hi there! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Lifestyle with Chinese Versatile. If this is your first time of stopping by here, hit the notification bell so you get informed when a new content drops, okay? So how have you been? I trust you've been good. So today's video is actually about a trip I'll be taking you on to the hospital. Hey, don't panic. The children are very okay, they're in health. Well, I am the one taking myself to the hospital because I'll be going to get my contraceptives changed. Yes, you heard me. I said contraceptive because I am an advocate for child spacing and family planning. Yeah, so I've had this contraceptives in me. Yeah, it's not the implant. I don't like the implant one. And I don't like the injectables. Neither do I like the swallowables. <laughs> I don't like those. Well, the reasons vary as to why I don't prefer those ones. I rather prefer the one that's a lot more long term. And that's why I went for the copper tea, also known as the IUD. Yeah, so I've had it for over a, a, over five years. I've had it for over five years, and um, I did not know, anyways, that it was long overdue to get it taken out. Not until sometime last year, I started spotting blood from my inside, and it became really serious. So I really didn't take um, much cognizance to it. Not until over the weekend. I experienced it again and this time I wasn't expecting any form of blood whatsoever, you know what I mean? So it got me really concerned so I had to go by the hospital um, a few days later to check in with my doctor friend. You've met him, you saw him in the other videos, yeah? So but before then I had tried to do and I mean I had tried to do a personal inquiry so I went on Google and did what you know we do best on Google, ask Google and Google gave me a suggestion that it might be cancer. And I'm like scared out of my skin, like how would I even explain it, like where would it come from? So it's really been bothering me and mostly from the previous weekend when I just experienced the blood show again, so it really got me very nervous. So this is why I had to go by um, Dr. Nelson and he conducted an ultrasound scan on me and checked probably but now insisted that I go get the contraceptive out. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be going over to the Planned Parenthood um, facility that's close by my house. I could have gone to the hospital anyways, but I really don't want to go by their plenty protocols. So I'll be going to the Planned Parenthood to make inquiries, see if we can get it done almost immediately. And as Dr. Nelson advised, he said I could change it. So once they take this old one out, they can fix a new one almost immediately. So I don't have to bleed more than once. So I hope you're ready to come with me. All right, so let's go there. Hi, people. So um, I had to come by the Planned Parenthood. Um, I'm going over to the clinic right now. Uh, I want to make inquiries about the removal. So I'll know if I get to, but personally, I'm not ready to take it out today anymore. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. Yeah, so come along with me. I hope they let us make the inquiries easy. Ciao. Please, I wanted to find out if I can remove my um, contraceptives here. I put um, copper tea, IUD, because 2015 uh, yeah. March in Lagos actually. So I didn't know it's long overdue to remove. They told me to take it off. I think after five years. So I noticed that I've been bleeding like recently. So it really like caused me concern. So I went to the doctor to do some scan and. He advised that I go take it out. So can I remove it and fix another one? Yeah. Almost immediately, right? Oh. Okay. No worry. So can I? Okay. So can I do it tomorrow? Or can I do it today? No, not today. Okay. Tomorrow what? Are you on message? No, not yet. When did you see your message? Um, first week. That was last week. Last week when? Um, Oh my gosh, let me be sure. No, I think that was two weeks ago. Where do you live? Um, across, back of Waterford. Okay. If you don't have much concern, you can come back on this. I'll remove and then put it in. Ew, you need not be disgusting. <laughs> need to be disgusting doing it. For you people, I mean. Okay. Okay, but the longer I spend, um, you know, not removing it, it won't cause any... It will not. When did you... March of 2015. Just five years. No, it's six years, years now. Party last ten years. Exactly, but I'm wondering why the, the woman, the midwife who fixed it, told said to remove five after five years. That's her own maybe way of thinking. If you are fixing something, sorry, I don't give you. That's what it is. 
subscribe on it then they will give you treatment to not to spread to anywhere and that's the end of the world. Okay. But this is not the property that is causing that. And there are no cases of that. Yes, Nobody no. here might have complained to that property could no. okay. Because it might happen yes, again. Yes, yes. You have not to tell what is causing yeah. the ability. It's not the property. Okay. And even if he is suspecting his property, that's when he will say, move it and feel good. I have never gotten any case of property causing that type of The first the, 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 the building that property causes is the end of when, you, okay. when you fix it because it's a foreign body. Okay. Some people's menses will increase, some will reduce. Yeah. Which I noticed, mm. you know, when I fixed it, and then mm. recently and too, to recently too, I kept mm. noticing my bleeding could be just a few days. Yes, other and times it be very high. Infection causes all those things, but not too much. Okay. Yes, infection causes. Once you have that, and they have to say, "Look, we treat you. It's fine, and I have to go back to normal." Just like that, you don't open this. You see, after meeting, that's a different thing. It's not from the property. It's not from the property, and I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not from the property. Something. You understand? It needs to be checked. Thank you. That's just to watch it. Okay. Yeah, like I'm thinking of it honestly. I'm it gives me a reason to. House. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm just going straight to what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And if you didn't tell me that you are brother, I won't even call cancer because nobody will be happy when they say yeah. cancer But you have already brother, and I don't want you to continue browsing. No, I stopped. Mm -hmm. The moment I just checked that out, I just started browsing it to confuse me. You just go and see the clinician, you take the treatment, and that's all. Okay. Once they put you on drugs and you take the drugs correctly, you need to be okay. There are so many cases like that. So, when can I come to see the doctor? The doctor comes here? Or no, I will find general. you to see the general hospital. Okay. Here we are. That's why I just say, take my I hope doctors are, doctors are not on strike, though. No. Okay, so I am done at the inquiries and and um, I am nervous, super nervous about it because I have to be referred to a doctor where a test will be carried out on me and um, there'll need to be some scraping done around my cervix to test and check but I need to see the doctor so an appointment will be fixed for me in that tomorrow so I'll let you know the updates when we're going to the hospital I'll let you know but for now yes. that's what's up. Thank you for stopping by and staying tuned. I'll give you a, keep you updated. So, um, good afternoon. How are you over from over here? Well, I'm on my way to the hospital now. I have called the nurse. You know, yesterday I had to ask her and we exchanged contact. So she's confirmed that the doctor is around. So I'll be going over to the hospital on the appointment and consultation to speak with the doctor. And then she'll advise better what needs to be done if um, she'll advise if I have to take out and run a scraping and then the test eventually. I am super nervous about this actually because like this cancer scare is something I really do not want to have. Nothing, not even having cancer, how much more this scare, you know. So come along with me. I hope I'm allowed to um, film while I'm there. All right, so let's go. So I'm having to walk. Huh, okay. I'm having to walk to the hospital. The hospital is just like next over here, but I have to walk all the way around. Um, yeah. Besides, to keep fit, I didn't get to work out today because I have been doing some washing. So that's why I prefer to take a walk to the hospital. Okay. Um, you can see the sky so clear and bright. Okay. So I'm here at the mm. hospital already. Heading to see the doctor. There's a lot of protocol here around here and it's so frustrating. But all the same, I hope I get to see her. I'll keep you posted. Just stay close and go nowhere. Okay, so I have 
seen her and I have to go pick up my car. That's one thing about general hospitals or government hospitals. The back and forth is always the same. Now, I didn't get my card in there because I wasn't sure she was around. So I needed to ensure that she was around before I could get a card or spend any money. I know if I'm having to reschedule. So I'm going over to get my card now. And then I will come back here to just take those. I have 1,000 Naira chips. I have 1,000. So I'm going to give her a minute. Have it? Eunice. Yes, I saw her. Eunice, E-U-N-I-C-E. A D I M O R A H M O R A H. Yeah. My sister will see you, say anything. Ah, oh, she's here? Yeah. Like she, I thought she was at the doctor's. No, oh, okay. It's not that serious. Yes. Oh, okay. It's not. Say hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Well, you'll be seeing her soon on our chats. She'll be taking us on some natural hair tips. Yep, she's my mentor in when it comes to all these natural hair things. So just stay tuned. In the next videos, she's gonna come on. Okay? Sorry, it's sorry. The questions for the form are massive. Sarah seven zero. Because you kept coming in back and forth. But I think we're almost done. I'm so nervous actually. I'm very nervous, but let's see how it goes. Okay, I got the car, as you can see. So I'm headed back. Back to school. Even when you're at the hospital, you have to be careful. I think I didn't give her money. I need to confirm her. I want to confirm that I'm going to give you 1,000. Okay, thank you. I'm going to give you 1,000. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to give you 1,000. Okay, so even while at the hospital, you have to be careful while you cross. And you can imagine the generator sound so loud in here. All the same, we're going. So see you soon. Well, I observed it since the previous year. And I was not because it got really confusing because I'm not on my period. So that is what it's going to Okay. Yeah. Now, right? So I've seen the doctor and she's um, requested that I do a scan. So that's what I'm here for, as you can see, the scanning unit. Um, well, there is only one likely human and that is cervical cancer and I am scared. I am super scared. I'm trying to stay calm, so that's why you're seeing my face in the next video. Within me, my heart is palpitating. So wish me luck. I'll be going after the scan. I'll find out if the, it's properly placed or if that is what is causing the injuries and the bleeding. Otherwise, then it has to be the likelihood of cancer. And I'm not praying for it to be cancer. I do not want cancer in my system. <laughs> but I would still fight it. It doesn't know me. Anyways, stay close. Stay tuned. So here I am at the other hospital. I came to my friend's hospital. Of course, you know, it's our family hospital. So I'm here to do the scan. And because the queue at the general hospital is so much for me, so I'm coming here to do the scan. Okay, this is quite 
So this is true. Alright, so I will see you in a bit. Why do you see the city building? No, no, but the thing just give me concern now. As you tell me, I can go come out. So uh, if I, you want to go to do this thing for you. She wants, to, she wants to remove the thing, then do this, the whatever. She puts me on an examination. So when they remove it, they will allow me to stay for a week first while they observe. So the scanning now, she wants to check if the stuff is not properly cooked. Maybe that's what's causing the. Not properly. As in, maybe there's a way it's inserted now. Maybe there's been a shift. And then it's now, you know, causing uh. a bleeding when I move. Was I supposed to drink water here? Yeah, I think it's good, but I'm, I'm technically uh, the Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm Why is it when you guys do this can put so much of this jelly stuff? Yeah, that's fine. I said, what made it feel like this is probably just a lot like around this. Okay, so I'm done from the scan, please. All right, yeah. Bye. Thanks. So I'm done here and I'm getting back to the general hospital where I get to see the doctor. I have my results already. All right, see you. So I am here at the hospital and back at the hospital actually. And um, waiting for my feet. Still, fingers crossed on what you like to do. I'm hoping that it is nothing of the sort that I am thinking. I just hope so. So see how it goes right <sighs> wow Because usually there is always the thing that happens once you the insertion happens. Oh, if you tell your body, I never see him. Oh, father, release your body. The thing will come inside you. Is it the first time we're moving? Uh uh. Hey, the glass now. It's not going for now. If you hold your body, the thing can work. You know, they are not making the thing. They are not making the thing so strong now, like the father. You know, so everything I take one. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father, what? Go on. It's not there. Okay. That's why you just do screen. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
Thank God. So thankfully the screening has been done so the um, IUD was removed, it was actually very terrifying for me, IUD has been removed and then a pap smear was done. So I'm so at rest right now, the pap smear result is negative. So I'm going to have to wait for the doctor to tell me what the other reasons might be as to why I was um, bleeding in the process. But I am super excited about the fact that I do not have cancer, no likelihood of cancer whatsoever. and. It's so relieving to know this, so thank you. I think I'm going to take some champagne to this effect because it's worth celebrating. <laughs> it's worth celebrating, oh my God. All right, so I want to say thank you for um, staying tuned through with me and you know, I know it's been suspense filled to an extent, right? But thank you so much for staying tuned. Thank you for being supportive one way or the other. Thank you for your lovely words and prayers sent across. Um, well, I'm thinking I might have to take you on the trip again the day I am going to insert the cup of tea. How about that? All right, so for now, it is love and light. Namaste. Thank you and be at peace.